and welcome to another one of my vlogs. This time you're watching the Le Mans eSports series vlog and we've just arrived at the airport uh, waiting to get my flight. So what is the Le Mans eSports series? Well, uh, I'm not too sure. We've been invited as a wildcard at Veloce eSports. Myself, Dave Kelly and Noah Schmidt, otherwise known as Veloce Virus. And uh, us three will make up a team that will hopefully mount an assault to win the championship um, when we get out there it's a very complicated format i will go through it later in the vlog so as you can see it's tuesday right now and we've got all the way to i think friday or saturday before we start racing so there's various media bits to do uh, enjoy the le mans experience because obviously it's the weekend of the actual le mans race so you know fernando alonso is going to be there all the big names are going to be there for the 24 hours so yeah it's going to be a fun week and there's going to be a lot to do, uh, but I just need to maintain focus. Uh, I think we're glamping as well, so I've never been glamping before. I don't even think I've been camping before, so yeah, uh, that should be an experience. And I think that might be my plane about to take off. Hopefully I'm not going to miss it. But for now, I need to go and queue up. So there's a big old queue there. I'm going to join that, and I will see you in Le Mans. Bonjour. So I've just got on the train, that was the biggest kerfuffle I've ever come across in my life. I've been here since 12 and now it's, what is it, 3 o'clock. So I was just running around looking for trains, looking for people, my phone's not connected to EE so no communication and uh, bumped into uh, my teammate Dave and all the others. So that led me in the right direction on the train, I think I'm going to, I'm not really too sure. Um, but. Yeah, if I am, then I'm about an hour and a half away, so... So as I've got nothing better to do, I may as well go through the competition and how it's going to work. So there's going to be eight qualifyings, and at the end of the eight qualifyings, the overall total time decides the grid for the first race. There's nine races, and so race one is decided by the qualifying, then race two's grid is decided by the reverse order of the championship standings after race one, and the same goes on for three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the final race, the total points so far in the championship decide where you start on the grid. If you've got a 15 point advantage over the person behind you in the championship, then you have a 15 second head start in that final race. That's Le Mans in the M8, uh, and that race is all or, all or nothing. Um, so if you had a bad run up to that final race but then you win it, you're the champions. So it's going to be an intense final race, um, but the whole week's building up to that final race. EE needs to sort their shit out because my phone, it happened last time when I was in Tenerife as well. It's not working. It's just not working. It's just, look, if I put data roaming on, yeah, data roaming, you can clearly see there, is on. And it's just not, it's got no, nothing, it says it's got Wi-Fi and it hasn't got Wi-Fi. Siri! <sighs> I want to call someone and I want to go on the internet and it won't let me do that. That's not what I bought this phone for. I pay a lot of money for a good phone, it don't flipping work. Money wise, you can win three grand if you finish first in the first to eight races, the qualifier races. Uh, second uh, second place gets two grand, third place gets one grand. The final, the winners get 25 grand, the second place people get 12 and a half, and then the third place gets seven and a half thousand, I believe. So there's a 100k prize pool, a lot of money. Not that's what it's about, but it's still you know a nice perk to the competition. And yeah, a lot of incentive there to do well. We've put as much practice as possible over the last week or two since we've known we've been doing the competition. Bearing in mind people have been practicing for months, so yeah, we're really on the back foot, but I think we can do a really good job, so. So obviously it's a team event, so there's three drivers in each team. The first eight races, I think two drivers compete um, to represent that team, and then the final race at Le Mans in the M8, uh, all three drivers compete, um, so you maximize in every part of your team there. We've got a strategy in place, we've got a spreadsheet which I created and I'm very proud of that spreadsheet considering I've never done one before really in my life. Um, I used different formulas and that, I felt so good. So on that spreadsheet I created uh, there is data for who's driving in which race, uh, the assist we need for each car, the strategy for each car, the fuel usage, all that kind of stuff. So we're pretty sorted on that front. All we need to do now is drive fast and don't crash. That is the motto of the week, really.
So we're here. We've arrived at Camp Le Mans. And uh, here it is. So we've got some glamping tents. And guess which one is ours? This one. That is our tent. Let's go in and have a look what it contains. So we got basically a posh tent. Uh, three beds. Lovely jubbly. Me, Dave, probably. And then virus because I'm the only one out of the three that's arrived at the moment. Dave decided to get on a late train. Uh, it's going to be a very long time till he gets here, so we're going to go and get some beers, chill out. Uh, there's about 10 of us here at the moment. So, got my 24 hour of Le Mans pass. That's me. Look at that. Look at him. Uh, got my towels, got my soaps. Showers are over there, but they're not working, so I'm going to smell, which is lovely. 24 hour Le Mans shirt for the media day tomorrow which yeah that should be quite good i think realistically because this vlog's going to go out after the event i don't have to hide what i think we can do practice wise and setup wise i think we've got a good chance of um causing a few upsets maybe getting a couple of wins uh and then being in the hunt for a podium in the grand final yeah, the final race at le mans in the ma that's my goal that's what i think we can do but it's an event because we haven't had a lot of preparation. We're going to chill out. We're just going to do it, take everything in our stride, step by step, and see where we end up by the end of it. You know, it's, there's no pressure on us. So that's the beauty of being a wild card. But yeah, until Dave and Virus get here, I'm going to go and chill out. And yeah, let's wait on Dave and that getting here. And then we'll meet the team. Casually walk in the Le Mans circuit. Yeah, it's uh, not bad. I'm trying to find a beer, but it's not going very well. So, uh, but this makes up for it. Walking along one of the most famous tracks in the world. Yeah, it's not bad. then as you can see from my hairstyle I've just gone for a shower I'm now ready to go to bed and a very uneventful day really just uh, getting here safe and sound now relaxing and then tomorrow we go again so uh, until tomorrow bye bye good morning and I am freezing to my bones like I'm really cold it's so cold it's really wet as well Oh yeah, it's uh, it's rough, but I feel uh, I feel really good. I slept really well. I look fudged, like I look really tired, but it doesn't really make any sense. But I think as a morning treat, let's go and meet Dave for the first time. My phone charged at all last night. So everyone, this is Dave, my teammate. <laughs> He's just been for a shower. How was your Hi. shower? Lovely. Is it nice? Yeah, it was a good reset in it every 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I kept that one. I know. Wow. Oh, shit. Mate, I love the, I love the graphics. Glorious. <laughs> Yes, that weapon. What cheese? What's that? Is our ring? Looks pretty good. Play seat thrust master, F1 rim, pro pedals. All right, so we've just checked out our rigs, and uh, now we're just waiting around, getting all our new jerseys for the competition. 
So it. So this fella was an absolute legend. He knew every single bit of information about the entire museum just from his head. He had no notes. I can't remember his name, but yeah, what a legend. Dragon's the head of the winner. And he was the kid of sun. I see a sky where the rain you cry, but I'm not running. I see a train moving all too fast, but I'm not leaving. And you go round and round and round, and you cannot see. I'll be right behind you, a hawk in the tree. Just found out there's four. 1,216 cars, every car that competed in Le Mans, around here. It's a bloody lot of cars, isn't it? Team member has arrived. Virus. Late. Better late than never, though. continent and when we have event on site but same also here in Le Mans which is uh, you will discover during the weekend it starts this afternoon um, that's not like with the sport we are not uh, checking and right it's pouring with rain uh, we went to the museum it was amazing saw some really nice cars as you just saw and uh, yeah now we went for the driver's briefing and now of all the things to do when it's soaking wet we're going to do some go-karting uh, in our teams. So me, Dave and Virus will be competing with each other against the others in a soaking wet 90 minute kart race. So, uh, great. I'm going back to the tent, get my thermal. This is gonna be, it's gonna be tough. But yeah, let's see how it goes. So yeah, waiting for the car at the moment, but the cars, the real fast cars, have just gone on the track for the first time. I think it may be practice or something. But they're going through the Porsche curves as we speak. Just done some karting with the Le Mans Esports lads and uh, only got to pulled it. Uh, be Lege by uh, a tenth of a second, so we were really close. Um, on his home soil as well, so it's even better. And then in the race, it started raining mid race. Uh, I finished just behind him after my little stint and we got fudged over basically by the timing boards. I think we should have been leading by a lap, but they've messed it up and now we're losing by a lap. So. 
Le Mans cars are going around as we speak and they're flipping loud, man. That is ridiculous. Um, don't know if it comes across on this. Uh, so overall we're finishing second, I think, which isn't too bad. Dave's out in the car. Virus in the wet. It was an absolute wet. Uh, surprised us all with his pace. But, yeah, I think we're going to go back now, shower, clean up, get some dinner, and then qualify for the Le Mans Esports starts tomorrow. So, let's do we out Signing out for day two here at Le Mans, and uh, I've got a friend. Hi. The videographer of Veloce Esports, Jack Fletcher, uh, making an appearance on the blog. But yeah, until tomorrow, good night.